Question 14. A mixture of three gases, oxygen, nitrogen, and argon. Total pressure is 500 kilopascal, and total mole of the mixture is 1.2. If oxygen gas alone occupied the entire volume, it would exert a pressure of 150 kilopascal. So first we need to understand the total pressure is from the sum of partial pressure of oxygen, nitrogen and argon. Okay, if it's just oxygen only, it's actually just will give 150, which means the remaining 350 in the mixture here is from the nitrogen and argon. They will contribute 350. Okay, at room condition, the amount of nitrogen gas in the mixture would uh, occupy a volume 5.76 dm3. Uh, so uh, what is the partial pressure of argon gas in the mixture? Uh, so for this part, uh, it's quite uh, challenging for some of you. Uh, first, you need to know the you, how to use the Dalton law. Uh, the partial pressure of the substance or the species equal to the mole fractions of the species times total pressure. Uh, this is the one that you must know. Okay, so let's uh, start uh, the how to uh, calculate or how to get the, this partial pressure of the argon. Okay, so first uh, let's get the mole of nitrogen. Because you say that amount of gas in the mixture would occupy volume of this. Okay, so we just use the 5.76 of nitrogen over 24, the molar volume. So we get the mole. The mole of nitrogen in the mixture is 0 0.24. Okay, so we use this uh, for the calculations later, right? Okay, we already get the mole of nitrogen. Now we try to get the most of oxygen. Okay, most of oxygen. Okay, we use the uh, the Dalton law because it's given 150. So partial pressure of oxygen is 150 equal to the mole fraction of the oxygen. Uh, how to do or how to get this mole fraction? Very easy. Uh, this is what we want to get: the mole of oxygen over total mole. Total mole is 1.2. Okay, and times the total pressure. So it's 500 here. Okay, so rearrange, we will get the uh, mole of oxygen. Okay, this is the one that we need to get, the mole. With the mole, then we can get the uh, mole fractions of the argon. Okay, so both nitrogen and oxygen's uh, moles already obtained. Now we can get the moles of argon because the total mole is 1.2. So use 1.2 minus the moles of nitrogen and oxygen. So we get 0 0.6 for this uh, argon. Again, use the Dalton law. So uh, 0 0.6 over 1.2. So this is a mole fraction, which is the uh, half, this one, times total pressure, 500. So we get 250. Okay, so therefore answer is C. Okay, I hope you understand uh, and that's all. Thank you.